guys. Today I'm going to make some ribs in the slow cooker. So let's get cracking. These are baby back ribs, but you could use spare ribs as well. I got these, I found these at the grocery outlet for $2.99 a pound. So rack of ribs was like $10.66. I haven't seen them that cheap in a long time. Normally they're around here, they've been about six or seven dollars a pound. It's crazy. So what I'm going to do is just cut them into individual ribs like this and then just put them right in the slow cooker and then I'm going to put some of that barbecue rub on them. This is half a rack of ribs. I cooked the other half for dinner last night. Now this barbecue rub I'm using is the rub by the J. Christopher company. It has sumac in it that gives it it's a purple berry. Gives it that purple color and it's kind of a nice flavor. So I'll just get these all seasoned up. That looks good. If you're doing the whole rack, just pile them in there. And I have some barbecue sauce, but I'm going to put that on at the end. I'm going to cook these on high until they seem tender. If you cook a whole rack, it may take a little bit longer. And if you cook them on low, it'll probably take about twice as long. It's been two and a half hours, so I'm going to check on these. You can see the meat's pulling away from the bone. That's how you can tell they're tender. So I'm just going to shut the pot off right here. And I'm going to put the barbecue sauce on them. Brush that on and then just let them sit in the pot for, I don't know, a few minutes and kind of cool off a little bit. All right, let's see how these ribs are. See if they'll pull off the bone here. Oh yeah, it pulls right off. That way it won't get stuck in my teeth so bad. Let's try that out. Came out good. I see a little more barbecue sauce to dip it in. This Annie wants to try it out. You want to try some, Annie? Come here. There you go. That's a pretty easy way to do ribs, and if you don't have barbecue rub, you could probably just season them with some salt and pepper. And like I said, if you cook them on low, it would probably be, I don't know, four or five hours, something like that, just until they're tender. Anyway, I write everything in the description like usual. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time.